We can start with a couple of really basic rules that keep it and it keeps things really simple. So we start with the topic, if it's used, goes at the beginning of the sentence. The verb goes at the end, and then everything else goes in between. And it can go in any order because we have those particles. <coughs> so it looks something like this. <coughs> uh, you have topic wa, and then whatever else other information you want to include can go in between, as long as you keep the particle together with the thing that it's defining, and then the verb at the end. Um, now, now this, this isn't uh, an absolute rule that applies to everything, because especially as students become more advanced, they'll start using what in different locations in a sentence. Um, and also, just because we don't, uh, it doesn't matter which order we put them in in terms of the meaning of the sentence, doesn't mean that it doesn't affect the emphasis. So, um, you know, th for example, um, elements that appear later in a sentence, information that appears later in a sentence generally takes, has more emphasis. But in terms of the fundamental meaning and what is trying to be communicated, um, the word or is not important. What matters more is the particles. So if we, if we apply this, um, this sort of model, I suppose, to uh, our example from earlier, if it will work. So we have Taro Sonoriko at the library. We have Taro wa at the beginning, Mimasta at the end, and then we have in the other information section we have Noriko o and uh, Toshokan de, and we can put that in any order. So we can say Taro wa Noriko o Toshokan de Mimasta, or we can say Taro wa Toshokan de Noriko o Mimasta. And because we have that particle combined with that, that word, uh, the word order doesn't really affect the meaning. Again, like I said, the emphasis in that sentence will be different. Um, if I say Taro wa Noriko o Toshokan de Mimasta, it sort of implies that that's where, she saw, where he saw her. But if it's Taro wa Toshokan de Noriko o Mimasta, where, where it sort of puts more emphasis on the fact that Noriko is the person who he saw. But in terms of the, what actually occurred, um, if we're not worried about the emphasis, uh, that doesn't, uh, that the word order doesn't really matter. Uh, so if we look at our other example. So here we have a lot more things, and so again we have taro wa at the beginning, ikimashita is our verb at the end, and then all these other things in the middle. Um, noriko to, eki kara, gakko ni, kuruma de, and we can, we can rearrange these in any order. So we can say taro wa eki kara, gakko ni, kuruma de, noriko to ikimashita, or any of these other ones. And, and if my math is correct, I think there are 24 alternatives <laughs> of how this sentence can be phrased. And all of them are correct, because what matters is not the word order, what matters is the particles. And again, the emphasis will be different, but the, and the emphasis is something that we can worry about later. One, if we first understand how things actually work and how things fit together, then later on we can say, okay, now if you want to emphasize this, you do this and, and so on.